A battle-used saber, a piece of Maryland's Liberty Tree, the first newspaper publication of the Declaration of Independence, and even a pair of baby shoes made from the red coat of a defeated British soldier. Those are just some of the items on display at the Museum of the American Revolution, opening this week in Philadelphia, just steps away from the Liberty Bell and Independence Hall. This month, workers put the finishing touches on the Museum of the American Revolution. It took them eight hours to hang this painting of George Washington at the end of the war. And it's taken them more than a decade to get to this point. Well, if you come down here. In 2012, collection director Scott Stevenson gave me a preview of some of the items that will go on display. This is a British musket. A musket used in the Battle of Lexington and Concord, the first action in the War of Independence. It would have had a strap. A soldier's canteen, one of only three known to have survived. It says U.S. U states. U states. If you think about it, at this point, the United States is still just an idea. Right. For years, the 3,000 items in this collection have been looking for a permanent home. They'll finally have one. Amazingly, it'll be the first national museum to tell the entire story of the American Revolution. It's been a long time coming, but I'm glad it's here. Brown University professor Gordon Wood is a scholar of the Revolution. And there have been museums for almost every conceivable event in American history or person in American history, but not for the American Revolution, which is extraordinary when you think of the Revolution as the most important event in our history. The museum's collection will include this letter, written in Washington's own hand, celebrating the French joining the cause. That's a pretty exciting... Uh, That's a nice thing to have uh, arrive. And this document. This is the original, is it? This, this is the original. This is the original. Printed in the spring of 1775. An enlistment form for recruits to an uprising. And enlist ourselves as soldiers in the Massachusetts service for the preservation of the liberties of America. This is the beginning of the army. This is it. The carvings on a soldier's powder horn show the stakes were high. Kill or be killed. And? Liberty or death. The museum will also feature the faces of the revolution. Pictures taken of Revolutionary War veterans during the earliest days of photography. Some of these former soldiers were more than 100 years old when they posed for these pictures. Is this the prize of the collection, really? I think it would be hard to top this one, that's for sure. Yeah. The 20-foot piece of canvas was General Washington's home during the war. This is his actual tent. This is it. This is the roof under which he spent at least half of the American Revolution. Personally, I think it's chilling to think about the emotions that were <laughs> felt underneath this canvas. Now out of storage, the tent is up again. This time, not on the fields of Valley Forge, but behind a layer of thick, protective glass. Washington's victories led to the birth of a nation. To be an American is to not be somebody, but to believe in something. And the, the things we believe in came out of that revolution. The story is written in this collection. Yep. Artifacts of, of an act of Regiment. defiance June that would literally change the world. Mark, which is the first company. And the museum opens on April 19th. That's the 242nd anniversary of the Battles of Lexington and Concord, the first confrontations of the Revolutionary War. So far, more than 30,000 tickets have been sold to the museum. Very exciting this is finally happening. Two things I didn't realize. One is muskets are gigantic. Yes, and heavy. Very, very big. Yeah. And George Washington's tent is so well-preserved yeah. and looks almost whimsical, like yes. a circus tent when put up. I know, not what I expected at all. At all, and the field of battle. But amazing that they have all that art, so those artifacts there. You can learn there. at the museum, the American Get Revolution. a ticket.